AMD Ryzen 7000 desktop processor availability, which will be, according to my intelligence gathering, three days from now. Although I do not guarantee anything. However, that's what I have found. Most likely, September 27th, AMD will release the 7000 series desktop processor. And you'll be able to obtain it at retailers and online. However, they did not disclose yet when, like which ones. You know what I'm saying? So I cannot share that information. I'm thinking maybe, maybe New Egg, Tiger Direct. Let's see, in stores maybe. I'm not sure about like Best Buy or Walmart or I'm not sure, man. But I would say Micro Center perhaps. But I don't know. I cannot tell you for a fact. Now, this is extremely important. You have these nifty new microprocessors. They range from 6 core to, I think, 12. Is that right? 6, 8, 10, 12. No, I was wrong. 6, 8, 12, 16. All right? Well... AMD at the same time is rolling out a new socket in computer language that just means where you plug in the microprocessor. You can yourself upgrade your computer. All you have to do is, and I'm speaking more specifically succinctly, microprocessors. You could just replace them. However, the motherboard must be compatible with that shiny new or used or refurbished microprocessor if the motherboard is not compatible and what that means is that the physical connection on the motherboard which is referred to as a socket if it does not fit it will not work <laughs> now get this you cannot use any of these new AMD 7000 series they're, they're desktop processors they're not mobile you cannot use them on old hardware, on older AMD motherboards, or, you know, compatible motherboards. You must buy a new motherboard. <laughs> wow, talk about a two for one. New AMD socket AM5 update. So these Ryzen 7000 series desktop processors require this new motherboard new motherboards will be available starting at $125 and then the I'm not gonna go into the technical details but they include different chipsets which could be I don't want to go off too much it, it could be dealing with the cache the level 2 level 3 blah 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 okay Anything else that could be important? Yeah, that to me, I did not know that right away. And I almost would have given, I don't I wouldn't call it false information, but I, my video would not have been as accurate. At the last minute, I found out that, yep, and it makes logical sense because, because they, they mentioned their, this new socket update. Now, what's the update? Uh, PCI is an acronym. Oh, for was it per something? Oh, interconnect. The I stands for interconnect. PCI has been around a long time. Let me give you an example of PCI. Video cards, sound cards. There, it's a physical connector, but not all devices are just. Video, but that is classic video and and sound cards. Oh, do, 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 five. Okay, it supports DDR5 memory. Now let's let's just cut to the quick chase. These are just some quick basic specifications. Oh, and then the prices also. So the cheapest for now, which is the AMD Ryzen 5 7600X microprocessor is a six core with 12 total threads now now this is very important also 
it it has boost boost is what boost means is that the microprocessor at times it depends on the operating system it depends on the application it depends on different variables the maximum speed the way i learned is basically boost just means the maximum speed that that microprocessor will run now i'm not and i'm not including overclocking i now nah, i don't think overclocking is productive i i know i know nowadays the two major chip makers they allow it and they discuss it back in the day you would void your warranty which i think i don't know if you i'm assuming you still avoid your warranty if you overclock but that's not what i'm talking about it's the maximum that that microprocessor will function at the base frequency is is different so when it says up to 5.3 that's just the maximum the average is 4.7 gigahertz so that could be important total cache 38 megabytes the interconnect technology is generation 5 the wattage the power 105 watts the price is $299 the next one is the Ryzen 7700X 8 cores 16 threads maximum that the microprocessor will function 5.4 base frequency which to me is just the average 4.5 gigahertz what I mean by average is just normal functions starting up the computer surfing the internet uh, trying to find a mistress at ashleymaston.com I mean <laughs> I'll never forget that one I'll never forget that that fiasco with uh, Ashley Madison get it if you do not understand if you don't recall Ashley Madison it's when all these cheating and I don't want to get derogatory I, I this is a reason why I would never get married but you have all these humans cheating on each other and Ashley Madison is a website where you can cheat on on your spouse I mean get, just get, give me a break but that's what it, okay my warning my my sound alarm okay Oh, 40 megabytes. So just when you take a, just the average speed of the microprocessor is the 4.5 gigahertz. 40 megabytes, total cache, generation 5, interconnector, and then 105 watts, $399. That, that, now that's just for the, the processor. That does not include the heat sink. That does not include a fan. That does not include include a required motherboard that does not even include the okay let, let's skip away from that Ryzen 9 7900X 12 cores 24 threads maximum speed 5.6 gigahertz base frequency which I just to make it simple just average just you know normal speed or whatever you want to refer to it 4.7 gigahertz 76 total megabytes of cache generate these all have generation 5 interconnect 170 watts 549 dollars and this other one is 699 dollars 170 watts 5 interconnect 80 megabytes cache total cache now some of these see I think is it I think this one has two I could be wrong I'll show you a page that has more detailed specifications I think it has level 2 level 3 both whatever maximum speed 5.7 gigahertz 4.5 gigahertz normal 16 core 32 threads that's the Ryzen 9 7950x anything else average price for the motherboard 125 uh, which uh, this will tell you what it supports now it looks like four different motherboards Graphic storage, interconnect five, they all have that same generation. Overclocking, yeah, they support overclocking. What else? This one supports DDR5. Okay. Now, how much time? Oh, I'm already into overtime. Now, if you want additional information, this was just a release, which you may not care about, press release, but this is how I roll. Most 
a high percentage of my videos I always go directly to the source if I cannot find the source a lot of times I don't record a video once in a while I do but it's kind of rare this is directly from advanced micro devices which is an acronym for amd.com they are the world's what second largest chip microprocessor maker and they are very competitive with Intel nowadays and Intel I don't believe in coincidences the same day, September 27th, is allegedly when Intel is going to possibly release their latest and greatest Lake, one of their Lake series processors. I could not find exact details about the, what exact processor, so I decided not to record that video. I may record that video later this week. If not, it'd be too late, and why bother? I mean... <laughs> As a YouTube content creator now, you almost have to plan in advance. Uh, decades in advance, I mean, in order to obtain any views nowadays. You know what I'm saying? So this is just a press release. The Uniform Resource Locator is on screen. Highlighted. Type that all in. I expect it. I expect you to memorize that. And, and you cannot cheat. You cannot pause the video. <laughs> I love to mock my viewers, but a lot of times, well, if I have any... I mean, <laughs> I love to mock people, and I don't even know. Have, most of the time, I'm joking. But you got all these clowns in the comments that they get all butt hurt about any time I anything I say, and I'm like, "What? Well, you can't tell that I'm joking? I mean, what what I just said did not make logical sense. Well, or did it? Chain. Okay, now this is the um, advanced micro devices amd.com slash en slash processor slash Ryzen. And you can browse to this page. That's pretty easy to memorize or pretty easy to just, you know, look in and type it into the address bar of your favorite search. Excuse me, your favorite web browser. That Therefore, I don't have to include the links in the description. Sometimes they disappear. Sometimes they get changed. Sometimes they're retired. And you need to learn on your own. Oh, that's right. You're, anyways, I don't want to digress about YouTube. Now, this page has more, a lot more information, you know what I'm saying? And I, I pretty much went over a lot of it. Oh, ultra fast, Wi Fi. Uh, we went over the generation of interconnect. It's up to five now. Uh, up to 32 threads. We, we already went over that. Uh, video accelerators. I mean, three hundred dollars to me—that's not a bad price, really. It, it would de completely destroy this. I just bought this laptop this past week. It's a quad core, but even the entry level three hundred dollar processor that they're selling now would just completely destroy this laptop's processor. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Overclocking. I don't. I never talk about that. I don't think it's productive, but they allow it now. But here's a tip. I don't really, I don't know because I don't care per se because I would never overclock. But you might want to check. Now, back in the day, yes. Yes, overclocking would void your warranty. And overclocking can reduce the life of the pro processor. I don't know about these newer ones. So you might want to, if you're interested in overclocking, you may want to first find out if it does void your warranty. Because if you fry it, <laughs> they're not going to care. They're, they're going to you know, sell you a new one, uh, un, but they're not going to replace it. No. And it may lower the life of your the processor, meaning it, it deals with clock cycles. These processors, when you study them, they have a shelf life. They have a certain amount of clock cycles that, that, that will last. Okay, let's move along from all that. Memory frequencies. There's a there's a video. Oh, you can. It's already unlocked for overclock kick, overclocking. But you need to learn that if you never overclocked, you might want to study that so you don't fry it. <laughs> so yeah, did you know? I don't know about these new. I'm assuming these newer processors get very hot. But you can actually cook. Now I, I do not consume eggs. No, nah, I don't consume animal products at all. And I never get sick anymore. But anyways, but you can actually cook eggs on a microprocessor. And I'm not making that one up. Okay. Boost. Now, boost is different than, than 
or overclocking. Yeah, it, it's terrible. That's another a word. The BIOS has the basic input output system has to support it. Obviously, the microprocessor has the capability. The motherboard must have the capability, and then the basic input input output system is going to have the capability. It has to. This might be a good time actually. You get a hundred twenty five dollar motherboard. You get a three hundred dollar processor, and some rem memory. What else? And that would be about it. Well, it depends on the motherboard. Depends on your needs. But back in the day, I upgraded. This is a real story. This is a true story. I learned how to upgrade my own computer decades ago. I upgraded a Intel 486DX250 to a the first version of the Pentium. And what was the speed? I can't even tell you. I know the motherboard, I know the 46 was 50, DX250. I think it might have been a Pentium 66, whatever, whatever it was. And really, I didn't, when I upgraded, what I, and I used the same case. And I removed the 46 DX2 motherboard, obviously. And I, ha I had to, I think I had to buy a 586. Well, yeah, I don't even know if the new motherboard supported the old 46DX250. It may have. And it wasn't really that difficult. You know what I'm saying? And then I was able to salvage most of my peripherals. Hard drives. What else? Compact disc. You know what? I think I had to replace the optical drive. It, it wouldn't detect. It wouldn't work with the new one. It was bizarre. But it, but almost everything else. Now newer computers are a little bit different. But if it's, but since this is a desktop computer, you might be able to salvage a lot of the peripherals from your old computer, and then you can use the same case if you know what you're doing. Okay. Mm, this is gonna be an extended video just because you know I have some insights now that I just realized. Mm. Oh, one touch memory overclocking. Interesting. And then it's got the new socket, the new so AM5 socket. And then if you want to learn more, they've got a web page for that. They claim it's 21% faster gaming. Now this is comp comparison to a Ryzen 5 5600 desktop pro processor. Oh, this supports 1920 by 1080 resolution. Oh, now these are the games that they tested. Oh, I'm not a gamer. Middle Earth Shadow of War, I'm retired. F1, that was a failure. Grand Theft Auto. And anyways, that was about a month. I, I For about a month, I recorded mostly gaming videos. Big, big mistake. <laughs> I just wasted that month. Terrible revenues per melee. Terrible view counts. Oh, well, it's all good. I can I'll delete all those videos. I mean, no, I might re be able to retitle them, salvage them, or whatever. Okay, remember, this is a comparison from AMD 5600X processor compared to 7600X. Okay, so these are some additional specifications. We went over like all of these. Oh, thermal paste, remember? You're gonna, that, that price doesn't include thermal paste. And you're going to have to run out and buy thermal paste. Here's a tip. You don't really need to use that much thermal paste. Do not use that much. You don't really need to. Uh, study. Find out. And then th there's videos where they claimed it well. If you put it in every corner, or if you put like a dime-sized, or not even a dime-sized, a th a needle, you know, like the needle head sized in the center, it just I don't get obsessed, man. Just as long as you put a little bit of thermal paste, and it, it's going to be better than none. Get it? <laughs> have you ever have you ever touched a microprocessor? Right, right out. Have you? Have you ever worked on a computer while it's still on? And you, you know, have you? Have you noticed how hot the microprocessors get? 
Okay, we went over all these specifications already. I'm almost done with this video, actually. What else? Oh, not too bad. I'll give you one more tip. Now they've got, okay, they just, it, they're just, okay, links to the same page. When it comes to upgrading, you're, and if you're a beginner, there's plenty of books. That's how I learned. I actually, I learned most of my knowledge decades ago from like one or two books. One of the books I purchased was, I think, what was it? How to Repair a Computer or How to Upgrade a Computer. And then I ordered, like I said, I already told you that story. I ordered the first Intel motherboard and re to replace a 4086, what? Yeah, 46 DX250. And then I had to, you know, I even salvaged the memory, what the video card, the sound card, just about everything. I think I salvaged everything, even the computer case. And the only thing I couldn't salvage it was bizarre was the optical drive i just i did everything i tried everything i i think i, I think i even tried to upgrade the firmware so some optical drives you can actually upgrade the firmware or i up, tried to update made sure the bios the basic input output system was current nothing i had to go out and spend at that time they were kind of expensive well whatever whatever that means okay the amd ryzen 7000 desktop processor availability oh oh you know what now I did tell you when it would become available, and I did mention briefly. I bet I am, you know, I cannot. I, I don't don't know exact where. Obviously, you could order it from AMD. I'm, I'm assuming, but they, they, but in the press release, they mention here. You can even search. They mention e the retailer. Okay, they mention from leading e tailers, meaning. On the internet, meaning websites, meaning e-commerce, meaning electronic, get it? And retailers beginning September 27th. Okay? Adios. And and good luck if you do decide to... Oh, I highly... I highly, Oh, yeah, you know what? When you learn computers, especially the hardware, you can actually potentially save a lot of money and you can... I, I don't like to use the word build... But you can put computers together yourself that are possibly better. You, you can find out the reviews. You can study the motherboards, which ones, you know, gigabytes are, is a, you know, to me, a lot of them are, are, are good. You know what I mean? So you can potentially save money and then you could potentially create a computer that may be more, How shall I articulate it? Compared to, you know, branded computers. And then a lot of times what you're paying for is the, what, just, <laughs> basically you're, you're paying kind of for the brand. Trustworthy. Adios. Reliable. You can potentially create and put together your own more reliable, possible reliable computer. Adios. And you're learning. You're learning how computers actually the the. Anyways, adios. Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know. People will be upset that this video is too long, and how dare I? And and I talk too much, and I need to get to the point. Wrong.